please ignore my hair. I want to relax. I actually want to relax my hair. I would have filmed it, but I already have a video on how I relaxed my hair three years ago. It did not change. It's still the same. The only difference is that I diluted my relaxer. I diluted it with um, um, two teaspoons of my hair oil so that it reduces the strength a bit because I over two years I've been text laxing my hair so I don't want it I don't like it bone straight anymore I like having my texture so I'm not fully relaxed I'm not fully natural so text laxing is the in between for me so that was why I diluted my relaxer just so that it still leaves that texture in my hair which I love so much gives it volume gives it um curls it retains some of the curls and you know I just like it like that so just ignore this we'll just go straight into the laminating of my eyebrow okay so I tend to use um a relaxer to laminate my brows like that's how I feel it's done like when you want to do a DIY you just use a relaxer and that's what i do so i already diluted the relaxer you know if you want if you want to text lax your hair and prevent it from going bone straight you add like two to three teaspoons of um, olive oil or any oil that you have at all it has a way of reducing the strength i'm sorry i'm looking here because i'm trying to see what i'm doing it has a way of reducing the strength of the relaxer just so that you don't get um bone straight hair if you want some sort of texture i've been text laxing my hair for um two years plus since 2022 i've been text laxing my hair and you know i can't even go back because it makes it a lot better for me i like my hair having volume and i like it i like the texture it gives it so that's what you're going to do if you don't want bone straight hair because the relaxer has a way of breaking down the protein bonds in your hair which makes it more susceptible to a lot of um, breakage so having that um, texture and still having some level of um, strength in your hair when you text lax it gives it some more elasticity and prevents it from breaking at the rate at which it is growing because that's one reason why people don't get um length re retention they don't retain length because in as much as your hair is growing it's breaking at the same length at which it's growing so you don't get to see the growth of the hair so so this is this is how I laminate my brows. After doing this, I'm going to put a nylon on it. You may not go blind though. <laughs> so you put this and let it sit. Now I may allow this to sit for longer than usual because at this point I have um, diluted the relaxer. So you will not you may not necessarily um burn me per se. So just apply this and allow it to sit for like two minutes. That's as if it's even up to that. Two minutes, two minute time frame. <laughs> this looks weird. This looks so weird. Probably because the nylon is, you know, too, too large. It's supposed to be a bit smaller than this, but what can I do? to just deal with it so <laughs> i think it's been two minutes i'm going to wipe it off so that you know i don't start crying or wondering where my where my brows have gone <laughs> i'm just scared that oh oh okay Um, I hope this came out well because this is not the first time I'm doing it, but it has different results <laughs> every time I ow, every time I do it. So I'm just really, you know, hoping that it's 
I'm seeing my eyebrow. <sighs> okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Just a few um a few strands of my brows. So okay. Looks looks better. I, I can't lie. Looks a bit better. It's sleeping. Uh -huh. So I'll just brush it up and carve. That's that's how I'm going to do it. I use a scalpel. So I'm just going to go in and clean out. You know, as much as this place is burning, like the skin here is actually burning because it looks a bit red. I don't know if you can see it. It looks a bit red, but you know, I'm just going to apply some oil to soothe it because I, I didn't expect it to burn like that, considering that I diluted the relaxer. And you know, I just hope that it comes out nice, or rather, the, the redness goes away. But then, so far, I did good. I, Ooh, baby. It came out nice. It came out really, really nice. So, this is how you laminate your brows. Like, if you don't want to waste a lot of money <laughs> going to the, uh, what's it called? Going to the spa or the lash tech people, you know, people who are in charge of that, to get your, get your brows done. You can easily just do it at home, but do it with caution and do it with precision just so that, you know, you don't go bald in your face um, and it will not still come out nice so like if you have any comments any you know suggestions on how else you should do it or you know to get better results just let me know in the comments if you feel you still want to apply eye pencil to this you can easily just you know draw a line if you need it and then just fill in a little more so that it still gives that natural look and also you don't need to do a lot of things to it Put your concealer, put the upper on, do your, do your makeup the way you want it to. And that's pretty much everything. 